Uh, Penny Henare. Well, Mr. Speaker, Tenakwe. thank you very much, and I, uh, it's an honour to rise and uh, speak on the Evidence Amendment Bill today, sir. And I would like to echo the sentiments of my colleague, of my colleague, the Honourable uh, David Parker, to the Minister, who I thought gave a very good speech in introducing this bill to the House. It was sensitive. Uh, it was uh, well constructed, and certainly laid out a fair amount of the detail. And, and that's important, Mr. Speaker, because um, as, as the uh, explanatory note in the general policy statement in the Evidence Amendment Bill states, it, what it says here, the bill makes a number of minor and technical amendments. And I think just by the sheer nature of the discussions and the debate that's happened in this House so far, or to date on this bill, will show that while minor and technical, it is very important. Uh, so I do want to commend uh, the Minister, and I do look forward to, as a member of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee, uh, having this bill come uh, uh, um, in front of our committee and allow us to pour over the detail uh, and the fine print. Um, Mr Speaker, we on, uh, in the Labour Party, we support uh, this bill, um, and I want to pick up on a couple of points that the Chair of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee, Jackie Dean, mentioned um, in her contribution uh, in the House today, Mr Speaker, um, and, and that was really about putting the victim at the forefront of all of our thinking when we consider such bills and, uh, like this, um, and it's important that we do that, and just as important, as she mentioned too, that we wrap around the correct services and support around our uh, around the victims, and in particular in this case it, it talks of children, our most vulnerable uh, in this country, and it's important that we get this process right. So while I, I agree that this um, legislation is a step in the right direction, Mr Speaker, um, it is but one step, and, and, and I do acknowledge some of the other bills that we have supported through the House in recent times uh, add to that jigsaw puzzle that is looking after the victims, uh, and, and, and I support that. Mr Speaker, it's clear the bill makes a number of amendments uh, to the Evidence Act of 2006 following the review by the Law Commission. Uh, Mr Speaker, well, I, I spoke briefly about how we need to wrap around these support services around the victim. And, and another point that uh, the member Jackie Dean mentioned was about a support person uh, for our tamariki or for the children who are required to give evidence. Um, I, it, it's a good uh, thing to have a support person for our most vulnerable, our, our children, when they go through this particular process. Um, but I wonder, Mr Speaker, just I want to make a point um, in this, in my contribution, around the nature of that support person. Now, we know it's important to have family, but often, as we know, in cases such as these, family or wider family are involved, and I just wonder what kind of influence uh, a support person may have on the child before giving evidence. Perhaps that's something that we can debate or discuss a bit further uh, in the uh, select committee stage. Um, Mr Speaker, uh, there, it, it, there was a report prepared by AUT in 2010 that looked at this particular issue and it highlighted two very important points. Uh, one of those was the length of time uh, that the child had to wait before giving evidence. Um, it's important that uh, it was approximately something like 15 months uh, and that's, as we would all agree, I'm sure, um, arguably too long. Um, but, however, it is important that the trial must go through its process uh, it must be fair um, uh, for all sides and it must be able to be considered um, properly and appropriately. And the reason I mention that, Mr Speaker, is um, not, too, not, not too long ago I was, I was called to jury service uh, and a particular case of which I won't speak too much uh, in detail on, Mr Speaker, um, it was clear sitting there as a juror just how hard um, these cases can be on children and young people uh, who have to uh, present in front of, and the members have already mentioned, such uh, a daunting audience. You've, you have your judge, you have the jurors, you have lawyers, and, and, and uh, also um, uh, uh, the person who's, who the charges are brought against. And um, I think it's about time that um, as technology progresses so fast, 
it's important that uh, while we might say it's just a video uh, recording or it's a video conference or a closed circuit television, it's important that we use um, uh, uh, the technology of the day um, and in this particular case in the bill, Mr Speaker, it does allow for those provisions for our children to be uh, cared for. Um, Mr Speaker, uh, I want to also um, mention uh, the great work by my colleague um, Calvin Davis who has stood up and indeed during the campaign campaigned against sexual violence. Uh, and I know um, uh, he actually just flicked through a text uh, and he's very happy uh, that this particular bill has come up and he, uh, along with all of us, will support that uh, into the second stage, into the uh, select committee stage, Mr Speaker. Um, these are sensible changes. They are a step in the right direction and the protections of victims do need to extend beyond the courtroom interactions, however. And this is why, at the beginning of my contribution, I talked about a full wraparound service, and I'd be interested, uh, as this bill progresses, to see what those look like. It isn't just about the time that the child or, or the victim gives the evidence, it's about the entire process, how they're supported while the trial is going on, uh, how they're supported post-trial. Um, it's the whole wraparound service that we need to get right in order as the bill states for the child or for the victim to move on, as the bill states, and, and that's appropriate that we get that right so that the children can move on with their lives, Mr Speaker. Um, I won't talk too much longer on this bill, Mr Speaker. Uh, we do support it here uh, on the side of the House. Uh, we look forward to it going to the select committee, of which I, uh, myself, and, um, and of course, uh, members from across all parties are are on that select committee and we look forward to debating this as it moves forward. Uh, and I want to once again thank the Minister for her kind words and introduction of this bill. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Kia ora.